Hey guys, so this video I am going to be ranking all my high-end mascaras. I've got three from the same brand. And then the other two are just from other brands. So I am going to start with this one. So this is the Benefit Their Real Mascara. Now first, initially, I got a sample from the magazine. Um, but now I just, because Benefit, you can literally buy their samples from Boots. So I've literally just been re- buying their, their mascara in a smaller size just because I've got a lot of mascaras and to pay a lot for a, you know another mascara for a full size mascara so I justify just getting a smaller one but this is really really good if you like volume in your lashes this is really really good definitely recommend um if you do like um volume in your lashes I'll show you all the ones for these I think so this is what the wand looks like focus you're not going to focus at the top next mascara is the Tarte Man Eater mascara this one I got in a set I really like this one this one is good for length and volume like a nice like 50-50% there's like not one that does more than the other if that makes any sense so if you like your volume and length then this is a good one again i don't know if this is limited edition or not so sorry if you can't get it but yeah and this is what the brush looks like next mascara is the ysl Volume effect forks kills clears clears whatever this mascara okay first off the as you can tell by the cover there's a little issue with it I don't know if this was a defeated defected one or or not or this is with every one of these um this Y uh, YSL mascara but the stopper is useless and it just builds up quite a bit. But the reason why I got this, basically I saw an ad, um, this isn't an ad ad, but this woman basically was wearing this mascara and I thought, you know what, I'm going to see if you can get that look with that mascara. So I followed the instructions and everything and I actually did it and it actually looked like it and I was like, wow. I was shocked because a lot of these like so-called ads and stuff will use, um, uh, what's it, false mas false lashes to, they say to even the look, more like to deceive people. But I was shocked that I could actually do this. I did do the whole video and everything on my old channel, which I don't have anymore because I deleted all the videos. But yeah, this is really good for lengthening and volume. You can proper build this up. Um, you can build it to the point... You can probably get away with two layers before it starts to clump if you're not into that thing. I don't mind it because I like clumpy lashes anyway. Um, but yeah, one coat, two coats are fine before the lashes do get clumpy. Um, I will say as well with YSL mascaras, if you've got sensitive eyes, be careful just because they are fragrance and I don't understand why you fragrance mascara. Um, that's the only issue with them because when my eyes are feeling very very like sensitive and delicate and just irritated if I go and put this on or any other way I sell mascara it just makes it 10 times worse so do keep that in mind if you do generally if you are a, a person who like always has really sensitive eyes and are sensitive to like fragrance near the eyes then you know just a warning for that and this is what the brush looks like but as you can see in the packaging it just collects and it's just it looks a bit grim but yeah the last two mascaras are the YSL final couture's now I'm gonna split them up because one's the old version and one's a newer version with a newer formula so when they first came out I I have two basically. I have this one. This one is in the shade. Do they have shade names? I know they have them online. I think this was I Am Madness. And then I had a blue one, which I think it was I Am In Trouble. The blue one broke, which really pissed me off. But basically, they were out. They were only out for like, what, a month, and then they disappeared out of nowhere. And everyone was like, why did they disappear? It turns out people have no allergic reactions to them. 
Um, I have no problems apart from what I just said before with wild cell and the perfumes and the mascaras. So then it's been a while and then they came out with them again but they're like reformulated and that's when I picked another one up, this one, which I can't remember the name of this one. Um, but yeah, these are the first colour mascaras that actually shows up on my lashes. I've had some in the past. Okay, bear in mind I've not actually bought them off on free in a magazine. But these, you know, really show up and I was like, wow. So that's why I had quite a few. So, yeah. So if you're, I have black lashes. So if you have dark lashes, lashes like me, then definitely give these a go. Because these will show up on your lashes if you are the sort of person who has dark lashes because sometimes it is kind of hard to find a good like colour mascara that will actually show up on dark lashes um but yeah really recommend these and this is the brush i won't show you the brush for the other one because i believe it's just the same brush it's just the formula that they changed from it so there's that probably the one that i reach for the most the, both of them is the Benefit Varial and the Tarte one just because the YSL one, the other YSL one, I, even though I do really like it, it's just really messy and um, that's why I don't reach for it as often but I, to me it's a better formula out of all of them but because I've got a mess, messy one, I don't, I've got a feeling that it's just one the a dodgy one that i got where the packaging's kind of whatever with it i'll have to go out and buy another one when that one's when that one that one runs out just to see but i just don't reach for that one because it is kind of messy but yeah the ones i do reach for the most is the benefit on the tart one so yeah that's it for this video so bye guys